Hi everyone, I'm your local Green Schools Officer Rob and this Green Schools Marine Week we've chosen to champion five marine animals. The eagle, the starfish, the seahorse, the manatee and the penguin. Join us for our draw along sessions and learn how to draw each of these marine animals. Hi guys and welcome to our draw along session for today. Today we are going to learn how to draw a seahorse. So I have one that I did earlier, it's going to be slightly different but this is my coloured in version to give you an idea of what we might have at the end. Okay, so again we want to use as much of the page as we can. We're going to get our pencil and um, we're going to have our sharpener ready, we're going to have our rubber ready and we'll have our colours ready for afterwards. Now I'm going to use a pen and the only reason I use a pen and not a pencil is it will show up clearer on our drawing. Okay so if you imagine our seahorse is going to take his head up here, his body all the way down and his tail coming around and then his back, his dorsal fin or his back fin here. So we're going to start with his head. And with his head, like a horse, we're going to start with actually little pucker duck lips down the bottom. So if we come in with a little V shape like this to start, and off that V shape we're going to come out, and we're going to go down, and from the top we'll do a little point for his nose, and then we'll come in a nice curved line all the way up like that, and we'll stop, and again a little point in, and a curved line all the way back and that's going to be his mouth or his nose however you want to look at it so where that little V shape came in we're going to continue that line all the way back and that's the mouth of our seahorse now from this nose we're going to put our position our eye on the seahorse's head so just kind of in line or up above that we're going to start a circle and that's his eye and then we'll do another circle inside of that and then we'll do a little circle inside of that again and colour in this part. Okay so we have nose and an eye done starting to take shape. So from this we're going to come out a little bit and we're going to come back and then we're going to follow the curve of that eye. So follow it all the way around like that stop and then come in like a little triangle kind of shape like this and on top of that little triangle we're going to do a circle and then in behind that we're going to do another little triangle and another circle and off the bottom one so this first one that we did we're going to come back up all the way up like this and come back down so we have one little feature here and then another feature above it. One feature here and then we need another one to match up the top. So we're going to do that. So we have the nose, we have the eye, and we have these two little horn things and two bigger little horn things. Okay, and that is going to be most of our head. Now to show the rest of the head where this is, we'll come in a little bit so it'll gap and then we'll come down with a curved line we'll stop it like that and then off the back of that line we're going to do a little curved line like this another one underneath it another one underneath it then a little bit more of a straight line a little bit more of a straight line and then a curved line in the opposite direction like this curve down curve down curve down and we'll stop it there okay and that's kind of head's detail. Now underneath from where our bottom lip finishes we're going to do a little jagged line, line like it has almost a, a goatee. So a little line like this and back up and up and up and up and then just a little jagged line like that and then we're going to from that we're going to come back in a curved line all the way around and stop it there like that. That's the most of the head done. 
Now we're going to add a little bit more detail to the head. So maybe just a little line like this and another little line like this to show where the nose finishes. And then in line like this all the way along, we're going to do little circles. So a circle here, circle, 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 circle. And the same underneath again, circle, 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 circle. Again, underneath that, circle, 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 circle. And underneath that, circle, circle, circle. And underneath that, circle. So we're adding a lot of more detail in there. But we have the complete head. We're not going back at that head again. This is it. That's our head. From the head, we're going to remember I said a curved body all the way down. So as we see here, we have like little spines on the back of our seahorse. So we have to get them. So to do that, we're going to start here. We're going to come in a nice C shape. And then from that C shape, we leave a little gap. We come back again, another C shape. Again, leaving the gap, coming back, another C shape. Again, leaving the gap, coming back, another C shape. So we have these lines. Now, this is the top of the neck. Now we're coming down the body. So we have to start bringing that C shape downwards. So we're going again like this underneath that again and they don't have to join up don't worry if they're not joining up you don't need them to join up okay and then we're going straight from here we're going straight down what we're doing in those c shapes another c shape another c shape another c shape another 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 doesn't matter how many of these are just as long as you know how many there are so this is all the way down the back and then we're going to start to curve around again. So we're bringing it in like this, in like this again, in like this. We're coming down the tail, all the way down the back of the body, all the way down the tail, all the way down, down. And we're starting to curve all the way around because the, the tail on it comes into a nice curve. So we have to figure out how to do that. We do another line like this, we come up like this, up again, we're starting to go back up into our curl, all the way up, 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 all the way up. And then we'll come into a little triangle shape. So this is all the way down the back of the tail, and all the way around the tail to where it comes to a point. Okay, now we need to put in the body. So we're gonna start under the chin here, and we're gonna do a line down for the neck. Just a curved line like that and leave it at that. Then we need to start matching it up with these curves on this C shape shapes over here. So we're going to do the opposite direction. We're going to do a curve starting here, coming this way. And it's going to match up with these, this curve here. So we have one here, we need one here. So we have one here, we need one here. We have one here, we need one here. Matching it up all the way down so that we have about the same amount and the belly is coming out this this way this, the back is straight but the belly comes in in a curve so we need to figure out how to do that we're matching it up the whole time matching it up matching it up matching up now i'll explain what i mean by matching it up this line and this line are going to connect and we'll see the body and the shape of the of the seahorse come together but before we do that we'll start by just putting a line down the middle so come all the way down like this and then we'll do another little line all the way down like that and we're going to finish that in a circle like that and then you see where this line goes if there was a line going across we'll put a little circle here if there was a line going across we'll put a little circle here same here following this line, if it was joined in where these gaps are, we go here. If it was joined in where the gaps are, we go here. And we're going to continue this line so it joins up with our seahorse all the way down the body. And it continues on all the way down and around to about here. So it's going to show you the shape of our seahorse and then it comes to a point and our seahorse is starting to take shape 
So I'm saying imagine those lines, but we might put in some of them. So if we put in this line here and put in this line where it joins up there, put in a line here, put in a line that joins up here, put up this one here, this one here, joining up, and we'll do it off the back. So we'll join this line only on the back, just the back for a moment. We'll join this circle with this line, the circle with the line, the circle with the line, circle with the line, circle with the line. We have no circle here, it doesn't matter if you did. But we'll bring the line back, 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 all the way into these gaps, line right the way toward this curved line that we've put in. And our seahorse is starting to take shape. Now, there's another line like this in its belly. So we're going to start following the line here. We're going to put a little circle about halfway across. Where this circle is, again, another circle about halfway across. Circle, a little bit more than halfway across. Another circle about there. Another circle about there. Another circle about there. We'll go another circle about there. And we're going to bring this line to meet those circles. Joining up, joining them up, joining up where that gap is to the circle, circle to the circle. Gap to circle, circle to 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 line. Okay, and then we're going to join up these. So a nice curved line, same as this curved line, but we're going to bring it into the circle. So circle to circle with a curved line, 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 and just a little curved line off the bottom of that. You can see the seahorse starting to take shape. Now we need to finish out the tail. So where this line is, we're going to do another semicircle here, again another one. Matching this one on the opposite side, matching this one on the opposite side here, matching this one on the opposite side here, matching this one on the opposite side here, matching again on the opposite side, matching again on the opposite side, matching again on the opposite side, all the way up, all the way until we have all of these matched on the opposite side. And then we're going to continue this line that we have, joining all those up. And it makes the segments of our seahorse's tail all the way along. And then we'll add in another layer. Most of it's done. It looks really good. But we have gaps. So let's join in those gaps. So at each, where these didn't meet up quite, we're going to put a little circle, semicircle to join them up. Like a little bump. All the way along. And each of these different points all the way down the spine of the seahorse all the way around the bottom of the tail until we come to the point and then we go past we come in on the inside and we do the same all the way back up on the inside which is going to come up and join up with the seahorse's belly, all the way, all the way up to the top. And we have most of our seahorse done. Now, there's a little dorsal, dorsal fin that I said, so we have to put that in. So about, I'm gonna go about here, you can go a little bit higher, but usually it's about, it's not quite halfway, it's below halfway. So if we go from this dot out, and we'll just do a curved line out like this, and a curved line all the way back like this, and then a curved line like this. We join them all up, and then we do little lines showing that that is the seahorses. In. And there you have it, our seahorse. So, all you need now is get your colors back out, color it in, and you can end up with something like this.